Hello everyone, yo koso minasan, I'm Toki Madoshi, and in this video we're gonna look at some stuff that was lost in translation in the third episode of Attack on Titan. Enjoy! For all the fans of Sasha in this scene, Sasha Blouse! Sasha Blouse! She's actually not eating a boiled potato, but instead a steamed potato. Yeah, I know. Big surprise. That makes a lot of difference. You're welcome. In this episode, we got names for the two titans that broke the wounds. Colossal and Armor Titan. And I just wanted to point out that in the original Japanese, the Colossal is Cho Ogata, which is super big and model or type. In this scene, when Ellen gets struck for a second, after that he's saying that it was because he was just so excited, which I feel is a bit weird saying that, but in Japanese it was a little bit more because he was overcome with emotions. The first time that Sean realized the beauty of Mikasa and compliments her hair, he's saying Kurokami, which is black hair, but for some reason they decided to drop the color from the English subtitle. Once again here they decided to remove a word because here Jean is saying that it was his trust with people. In this episode, once again, they decided to translate something more intense into just kill, and this time it was Nedayashi, which is eradicate. This is a bit of foreshadow, and that by pointing it out, it makes it a little bit into a spoiler. So if you didn't already watch all the series up to the fourth season, you might want to stop the video right here. But otherwise, in this scene... When Reinar is saying that he wants to return to the homeland that he lost, if you know the meaning behind his homeland, it might seem like he's lying right here, but in actuality he's saying that he wants to return to the homeland that he can't return to, which makes a lot of sense if you know the truth. <laughs> 